friends, welcome back to Core Body. My name is Kat Thomas, and today we are going to work with the things that we have in life sometimes that are very close to us, and uh, sometimes that's all we have to use. So we've got a chair that we're gonna rock. So maybe you're traveling and you don't feel like getting down on the floor and you don't have your travel mat with you. You can always rock some juicy flow and get yourself stimulated in some yoga poses and practices with a chair. Um, we will do some work on the mat. And today is meant to kind of show you some really slow and powerful moves as opposed to that consistent power flow that sometimes we go through in core body. So this practice is for anybody that is perhaps trying to get back into yoga. So beginner friendly or you are working towards more flexibility or you have limited mobility. So these will be poses that are meant to kind of restrict in all the great ways so your body and your mind breath connections don't have to. All right, I'll see you over on the mat. Hi, welcome back friends. We are about to begin our 45 minute journey together. So if you have a chair that you can use, please grab that and do so. And just know that anything that we're doing in the chair today can be done on your mat. And a lot of these things can actually be done standing as well. But for our purposes today, we're gonna start Feet are going to be grounded down onto the floor. And for that hips distance apart, just uh, put those two fists, I like to call them pillows, and just place them between the knees. And that'll be your hips distance apart. We want the toes facing forward. And on your chair, you're just gonna come to that little crease where your sit bones and cheeks meet that upper hamstring. So you're not gonna be seated all the way back because we want to kind of have that seated Tadasana or mountain pose, strong connection and form here. So once you kind of motivated yourself into this position, just wiggle around, get yourself settled in. The hands can rest on the thighs. They can uh, come into a prayer or just placed on your lap here like such. And we're just gonna inhale, reach those shoulder blades up to the earlobes, roll them back as you exhale and release. Let's do this two more times together. Inhale, breathe through the rotation and exhale, release those blades. Inhale once again, deep roll back and around and exhale, release. And go ahead and close your beautiful eyes. We're just going to breathe in through the nose and back out through the lips. Maybe feeling a nice little treble as the breath is released, waking up the facial muscles. Maybe releasing with a sigh of gratitude just for being here in this moment, in this space, seated together, starting to connect body, mind, and breath. Sometimes in life we have a tendency to try and lean forward so we can see or control the future, or maybe we're kind of slumped back into the past. So on your next inhale, I just want to elongate through the spine, through the crown of the head. Imagine that there's a string of white light just pulling you up gently as you breathe deeply in through the nostrils. And exhale, sigh and release. Now bring your attention and awareness to those toes no matter how many of them you have, let's just lift all of them up off of the mat or the floor. Keep the base, the ball of your foot grounded down and just wiggle those toes. Perhaps now a little smile on the face because wiggling toes can be kind of fun. Waking them up and then drop them down. 
Just start wiggling the fingers, maybe rolling out the wrists. Keep the breath flowing. Let the hands drop back down. And now we're gonna begin that Ujjayi breath. So we're gonna seal the lips, breathe in through the nostrils and back out through the nose. And here I want you to just take your hands, the palms of the hands are gonna come on to the belly area on either side. And I want you to, as you breathe in through the nose, really push the belly out like a balloon filling with air. And then as you exhale back through the nostrils, you're gonna actually feel the belly pressing in trying to squeeze out any unserving thoughts and energies. Breathe deep through the nose, fill the balloon. And exhale, squeeze it out. Really draw that navel in. Again, breathe deep. And exhale, release. Breathe through the nose. And exhale back through the nostrils, squeeze those intestines, bringing out any unwanted energies. Keep breathing through, feeling that balloon rise and fall. Perhaps now noticing the body is finding rhythm, fluidity. Two more breaths here with your Ujjayi breath. Oceanic breath. Maybe a little steam bath for the throat. You can hear that breath as you exhale. One more deep breath in. And exhale, sigh, release, release the hands down to the thighs. And gently blink the eyes open. Welcome to your practice. And we're going to inhale, reach those wings high above, palms come together, and exhale through the nose, bring the heart center and the palms together, gaze gentle on the fingertips. Feel maybe a little tingle of energy as you press the palms together, and here we're going to set your intention for your practice, for your day. Sending my love out to all moms, dads who may be suffering right now through physical or mental illness. May their family and children themselves find comfort and balance and peace together. And deep breath in, inhale, reach the arms high above. Now let's hold it here. So I want you to straighten the arms and pretend that you've got magnets on the inner arms and on the inner ears. So we're gonna keep those arms nice and elongated. Inhale, elongate and reach even further. You should feel a nice stretch through the cages here. Keep the navel drawn in. Take a few breaths here, Ujjayi breath. So we're not hollowing out the back or reaching forward, just neutral spine, nice and straight and tall. Feet are still planted firm. Deep breath, elongate, and exhale as you draw it down to your heart center. Inhale, reach those arms sky high, palms together. Elongate and exhale, draw that breath down to your heart center. One more time together. Inhale, reach high above. Elongate and exhale, draw the hands down to your heart center. Holding here, keep the navel drawn in. So we're gonna move into a T twist here. So I want you to make sure that your sit bones, those two little bones that connect to the earth wherever you're seated, whether it's a chair, your mat, the floor, they stay connected as do all four corners of your feet. So when I say four corners, ball of the foot, I call this the heart and soul and all of the toes that you currently own on your body. So we're gonna inhale, elongate through the spine. Exhale, draw the hands down first to your heart center. And we're gonna twist and turn the full upper body. So our heart center, our chest is now reaching out towards the right side. 
Now you can stay here, keep the breath flowing. If you want to get a little spicy here, extend those beautiful wings out to a T formation. So turn to the side. You're going to keep your arms nice and strong and tall. Don't let them float down. Don't let them go up. We're going to keep it nice and straight across. And we're going to bring the fingers together so the palms are faced outwards. Open that heart. Twist through the lower spine. Maybe a smile on the face. Yes. Or again, mild dishes are just fine. We're going to keep the palms just in front at the heart center. Keep the navel drawn in. Three more breaths wherever you are. Honor that space. One more deep breath in and to exhale, release on your next inhale. We're going to come back to center. Inhale, reach those arms high above you and exhale, draw the hands down to your heart center. Let that spine smooth through one more breath in and exhale, release. Next big breath, inhale, arms come above, elongate through the spine. Exhale, draw those hands down to your heart center and then inhale and start to turn to your left. As you exhale, again, you can hold here. Make sure knees and toes are still faced forward, sit bones are planted. If you want to add that spice, you're going to extend those wings out. Keep the breath flowing. And again, just from the side, this is what your arms will look like. Three more breaths. Remember to keep the breath flowing through the nose and back out through the nostrils. One more deep breath in. As you exhale, bring the palms up once again. And exhale, draw them down to your sides. Release the arms all the way down. Shake them out a little bit. Beautiful. Again, inhale, reach the arms sky high. Exhale, draw them down to your heart center again. So here, we're going to take that right hand and we're just going to place it behind us. Now, if you don't have enough room on the chair to place it flat, and I'll actually turn my chair here. So I've got enough space here. If you don't, just gently take hold of the back of the chair. So your hands are here. And we're just going to twist over again, reaching the gaze up and over that right shoulder. Beautiful. So, inhale through the center. Exhale as you turn and twist. Again, knees are facing forward. Toes are facing forward. You're using your right hand as a lever wherever it is and you're twisting through the lower and the mid thoracic. So that spine's getting that nice twist right now. Two more breaths. One more deep breath in and as you exhale, come back to front. Smooth out the spine through a breath. On your next inhale, reach the arms sky high. Exhale, palms come down to heart center. Get yourself set up again, honor your edge wherever your left hand now gets to be placed. And then exhale, twist and turn to the left side. So your gaze, you want that to go up and over the shoulder. Now, if you have any other issues, say with neck, just stop. You don't want it to be more than an annoying little pain. Kind of like your, your best friend or your little, you know, little sibling or something. You love it but it's a little annoying. That's where you want it to be sometimes. You don't want it to be a painful pain. So again, honor your edge. Keep the twist going. Imagine you're bringing out some toxins out of the intestine. One more deep breath in. And exhale, slowly come back to center. Beautiful, smooth the spine out through one long breath. All right, so we're gonna forward fold from our chairs. And again, this is where you wanna honor your edge. 
So you're on the edge of your chair. Feet are still hips distance apart. Remember, two fists or two pillows. And you're going to honor wherever you are. Now, if you do have props and you want to use them as well, you can always stack them in front of you. But we're going to inhale, reach the arms high above us elongate so stretching up and then over so we're going to hold here first draw the navel in nice flat back so you should feel a nice little stretch in the upper thighs and in the hamstrings feet are flat and then start to fold forward as you exhale completely so i can reach my hands all the way down if you can't that's fine so what you want to do going to roll back up slow. You're going to inhale, elongate. So elongating, you're lifting through the spine. The shoulder blades aren't guiding you. You're lifting, you're stretching out that belly area and you're elongating out and over. So you can hold here, putting your hands just above the knees, never on the knees. And you can start to lower yourself down wherever you want to be. You can drop your hands on the outside of your shins and rest the upper body on the thighs. And eventually you're gonna start rolling yourself all the way down. So wherever you are, honor that in this moment. And we're gonna take three more breaths here. If you are reaching towards the floor, let that head drop. Crown of the head reaching towards the floor. Keep the breath flowing. One more deep breath in and exhale. Now coming out of this pose is just as important as going into it. You're gonna draw the navel in. I want you to tuck wherever you are, the chin to the chest, and I want you to slowly start rolling the body upwards. Bring the shoulders up to the ears and roll the shoulders back. Beautiful. So we're gonna do some leg lifts. Now, if you want extra support, you can always hold on to the sides of your chair. I see just trying this without first and then seeing where you are. So let's make sure our left foot first is grounded, four corners in, and we're just gonna lift that right knee up 90 degrees in front of us. So we have a tendency then, whoa, to go back or maybe forward. Again, we want that nice, neutral, straight spine. So holding here, keep the navel drawn in, pointing the toe while you're 90 degrees. And then we're gonna extend that leg all the way out. As we extend, it's like we're pushing the wall or the air away from us. So we're gonna flex that foot, then point as we come back to 90 degrees. Again, pressing that air out in front of us as we flex the foot, keep the navel drawn in this whole time and we're breathing. So many wonderful things to do in one little move. So inhale as you reach those beautiful heels forward, flex the toes up, exhale, point the toe 90 degrees. A few more breaths here and exhale, release. See if you can get that leg off that chair if it's not. And if you do want that assistance, just gently hold the sides of your chair. Again, make sure you're not falling back and you're not coming forward. Straight spine, two more breaths. One more full breath. You're almost there on this side and exhale, release. You can give that leg a little shake. Beautiful. So let's ground that right foot in all four corners. So another thing that I want you to remember, we're gonna lift that left knee 90 degrees, point the toe as we exhale, we're gonna kick that foot out, right? So nice gentle movements here. So we also have tendencies to kind of start leaning to one side, especially if we're struggling with our balance on one or the other. So you kind of want to just keep making a little checks, mental checks in your body. And you'll notice if you feel that maybe say your right rib cage and that area in your belly is starting to crunch up a little more than the left, then you're probably leaning over to the right just a little bit. So make sure there's just that even sort of tension throughout. 
Beautiful. Now for anybody that does want to do a little more extra spiciness while you're doing some of these chair poses, you can always bring the arms out to a T, kind of rotate back and forth, three more on this leg, you can do little circles, you can pump the fist, do a little fire light. All right, one more breath. And exhale, drop, release, give it a little bit of a shake. Beautiful. So we're gonna come off the chair for just a moment. So while you're here, make every moment count, right? We've only got 1,440 minutes in the day. Let's make each of those minutes make the most of them, right? So coming off of our chair, we can even try and use our balance and see if our core is strengthening every time. So if you can, ground the heels in and come up, stand up nice and tall, beautiful. So we're gonna start in Tadasana or Mountain Pose. I'm just gonna put this off to the side for just a moment. So our Mountain Pose again, we're gonna now have that hips distance apart. And if you ever wanna check, you just bend down as much as you can. If you can go all the way to your toes, you can put the fist between them or between the knees. Palms come facing up. And when you're in this pose, I want you to kind of bring the pelvic floor, lifting it up. So imagine that you have to zip pants up that are very tight. And you'll notice the difference between loose and tight pelvic floor being lifted. Wonderful. And let's just bring the shoulders up to the earlobes and roll the shoulders back. Beautiful. So let's inhale, reach the arms sky high. Exhale, draw the palms down together between the hands. Let's just press the palms in here. The little isometrics that we have going on, keep pressing, building a little heat and little power inside the, the hands there. And I'm just gonna turn on my mat so we can move into our warrior one together. And we're going to first bring our arms up above our heads, keep the palms together, keep pressing in, straighten the arms out. We're gonna start with the right foot forward and bringing that left foot back behind us. So starting more in our triangle pose, Front toes are facing forward, as is our squared off side. That back foot is about 45 degrees, almost parallel to the back of the mat, just not quite. And if you ever want to make sure that your toes are in alignment, you just look down. So that front heel should bisect just where that back heel is in warrior two. And take a deep breath in here, and as you exhale, you're going to start steaming down that front knee. So if you have to adjust yourself, go ahead and do such. No biggie. You want to elongate through your lunge here. Just make sure that you have it come out of your position. And sink a little deeper. Keep the breath flowing, navel drawn in. And you want to make sure that this front knee never goes above that big toe when you're in warrior. If the palms together are too much, go ahead and release the hands. Pinkies turning in towards one another. Shoulder blades are down the spine. Two more breaths. One more deep breath in. As you exhale, straighten that front leg. Palms come together. Turn that right foot to face forward. And exhale, bring the arms to a T. Beautiful, smooth out the spine. Draw the pelvic floor up, and then on your next inhale, turn that right foot back out, facing forward, and exhale, move into warrior two. Palms are facing down, fingers are together, and your gaze is upon that right middle finger. So from here, you want to make sure that you're still in alignment. So warrior one and warrior two foot alignment is very similar. Um, I like in Warrior 2 to have my front heel bisecting 
pretty much the same spot, the middle of the foot, but my foot actually becomes fully parallel to my back of the mat in warrior two for myself. And we're gonna sink a little deeper, maybe a smile on the face, cause that helps. Keep the breath flowing. One more breath. Take a deep inhale and exhale, straighten that front leg, turn that right foot forward once again. And exhale, swing those arms behind you, clasp the hands and draw them back down through the body. So that heart center goes up, palms are going down behind you. If you can, clasp and keep the palms connected, keep the navel drawn in, and exhale, release. Roll up the shoulders. Beautiful. So let's move to the other side. So let's inhale, reach the arms sky high. Exhale, bring the arms out to a T. Let's turn that left foot out, facing the other way, and move into warrior two here. So again, check your alignment. The one thing in warrior pose and want to really kind of make sure of, besides all the other great things that you need to remember, is that back foot, we have a tendency to roll off of the heart and soul areas and lift up. We wanna make sure the whole foot is flat and connected to the mat as much as the front foot is. And from here, gaze upon the middle left fingers. The breath is flowing, navel's drawn in. And we've got a nice strong formation in the center, the present moment, knowing and tasting the past still and looking towards the future, but being connected in the present moment. Beautiful. And exhale, straighten that front leg, palms come up above you. As much as you need to adjust, we're gonna move into warrior two. You might need to bring your own legs in slightly. Again, you can release the hands, pinkies turning in though, shoulders down the spine, honor your edge. Three more breaths with me. One more deep breath in, exhale, straighten that front leg. We're gonna turn that foot forward and exhale, arms come down to a T. So let's bring the palms facing upwards. Let's get a nice little stretch there. Hold. And inhale, reach the arms high above you. Exhale, draw the palms down in front. And let's walk the feet back, hips distance apart. Let's play around with a little bit of balance here. Now, if you want, you can use your chair or you can go towards the wall and use the wall if you want that extra support. So let's ground the left heel, the ball in the foot. We're gonna keep the piggy toes just kind of wiggling around for just a moment. And I want you to really ground down through that left side. Like there's a nice strong rod connecting the whole left side of your body through the crown of the head, out through the bottom of the feet, the foot, excuse me, down to the core of our earth. And when you feel that, then as, as much as you can, drop the big toe, drop the piggy toe and any toes that you have in between feel even more rooted down. Wonderful. Now, again, you can hold on to this chair or to the wall, whatever you want. We're gonna inhale, reach the arms high above us. Bring that right knee 90 degrees. Draw the navel in. So again, if you want that extra support, go ahead. And all of us bring that left hand just onto the hip. Bring the shoulder back. If you want, and you wanna add that spice, right hand on the right hip. Feel that connection. If you're shaking, that's a great thing because it just shows you how alive you are today. And some days we have more balance on the either side. So no judgments on yourself. Deep breath in. 
more breath and exhale gently release that right leg shake out the left beautiful again if you want to switch it around we're going to go to the other side so let's ground that right heel heart and soul again then do big toe little piggy toe and everything in between root yourself down on the right side and gently lift that left leg Now, I like to find sometimes when I'm doing my balancing, a little focus on the floor. Maybe it's a little anomaly in your, your flooring, or maybe it's a little dust bunny or such, but if there's a little spot that you can find, it's your drista, your focal point. Sometimes that helps us keep the mind centered and balanced so our body follows. Two more breaths. And exhale, gently release the left leg, shake out the right. So if you didn't have your chair near you, let's bring it back. We're just going to do a modification of a half moon pose together. Now, for those of you that do want the extra spice, can go ahead and go into the full pose. But this is for our modified movements in life. So inhale, reach the arms high above you and exhale, float them down to your side. So let's actually start with our left heel down into the mat. We're going to ground the four corners. We're just going to gently place our hands on the top of the chair. Now, if you feel like your chair is not sturdy enough, don't use it. You can use the wall even for this, but we're going to start with the chair. And you want to kind of have yourself back far enough where you're able to touch the, the end of the chair while still standing up straight. Ground that left foot. And we're gently going to start lifting that right leg back behind us. We're going to flex the toes. So as you can see, I've got my back is flat. I've got a straight point from the, the base of the spine through the crown of the head. If you want to add a little bit of heat, you can bring the arms out in front of you and just kind of guide yourself one arm at a time, letting go. So the big thing here though is, if you are using your chair, the wall, you still wanna make sure that you're not lifting that hip up or dropping it down. No matter how high your leg is, you want even hips. So even if your, your leg is here, no dropping or tilting or dipping to either side and keep that foot flex. And we're gonna breathe through for two more breaths. One more deep breath in and exhale, slowly come back to a nice standing position. Inhale, reach the arms high above. Exhale, float the arms down to your sides. Let's ground that right foot in. Hands come forward. And exhale, start to move into your pose. Flex that left foot. Again, if you're rolling over to the right side or dipping to the left, just sway your hips off, honor your edge. Keep the breath flowing, navel drawn in. You're doing beautiful. Two more breaths. One more deep breath in and exhale. Slowly bring the toes together. Inhale, reach the arms sky high. And we're gonna exhale, elongate, open forward fold. And again, since you have your chair or the wall, you can either press against the wall, nice flat back, or you can bring the upper arms onto the chair. Holding here, nice stretch for the back. And draw the navel in as you inhale, lift the arms sky high, slight back bend, and exhale, draw the palms down to your heart center. Beautiful, let's make our way down to our mat. We're gonna get the chair out of the way. Beautiful, all right. So modifications on the mat are very possible as well. 
So you can get gloves if you're having wrist or palm problems, but even if you don't have those and you still want to try and make your way onto the mat, there are certain things that we can do to alleviate that. You can use your forearms. You can use your little pillows, making fists with uh, yourself and kind of utilizing that or coming down again, like I said, onto your forearms. Um, rolling out and giving your wrists a nice warm up every single day that you wake up is always good or in between if you're on the computer or such for a while. But before you start any practice, you should already have given them a little bit of a warm up. But let's do our modified movements of um, bird dog. So we're going to start on our forearms. So how I like to check if my forearms are shoulders distance apart, you can easily just cross the hand and they should just tap to the edges of the opposite elbows and then you place them down flat, hands are flush, fingers are spread wide and facing forward. So you're going to come up to half modified table. We're going to hold here and you want to really keep those shoulder blades reaching down the spine, navel drawn in. Holding here. And let's inhale as we extend that left leg back behind us, point the toe. If you want to add some spice, let's bring that right arm forward. Palm facing down, fingertips spread wide still. And exhale, release both back to the mat. Inhale through the center and exhale. Let's extend that right foot back again. Add some spice by extending that left arm now out and bring them both back to the mat. So we're going to alternate slow and powerful. Make sure that you're not dipping side to side, extending both if you want or just one at a time. You can do just arms today. That is what feels good to you. Just legs or both. So breathe in and exhale as you come back to the mat. Breathe in and exhale back through the nose onto the mat. Two more on each side. Finishing strong. back. So let's bring the knees out to the outer edges of the mat, big toes touch, and come into child's pose. Stretch the arms out in front of you. Take a big inhale and side out as you release. Ah, beautiful. Deep breath in. Ah, release one more time. Ah, and let's walk the hands back in. And let's just roll the body up nice and tall. Now, if this is a little too much for your knees. You can always have a little towel or a pillow that you can use when you're on the mat as well. We're gonna bring the knees together and we're in our hero pose. So hands are just placed gently on the thighs. Let's inhale, reach those shoulders up and roll the blades back and down through the spine. Just adding a little bit of circulation love to our legs. And let's inhale, lifting off of the, the ankles. Inhale, reach the arms sky high. And exhale, drop back down. Now again, if your palms are hurting you, you can either make those little pillows with your fists or you can come down onto your forearms once again. Knees and elbows are shoulders, excuse me, hips distance apart. Navel is drawn in. So wherever you are, you're gonna inhale, extend that right arm high. And then as you exhale, you're gonna thread the needle. So we're gonna take that right hand, palm facing up now, and send it through underneath that left armpit. Right ear comes down onto the mat. Keep the breath flowing. Stretching through the spine and the rib cages. Two 
few more breaths here. One more deep breath. Release. Inhale as you push off from that left arm. Place the right arm down. Smooth the spine through a breath. Next big inhale. Extend that left arm sky high. Thread the needle. Left ear down. Fully on the mat. Keep the breath flowing. Navel drawn in. Two more breaths. One more deep breath in. Exhale, release. On your next inhale, come back to your forearms. We're going to cross at the ankles. If you can, roll over to an easy seated posture, or you can wrap the legs around in front of you. And let's bring both feet down, toes facing forward. Let's bring our heart center up towards our thighs, holding here. And you'll feel that nice, strong core connection there as you draw the heart center forward. Make sure those sit bones are planted in. And slowly, just come back slightly so you're kind of rocking on the sit bones. Now you can give yourself support, placing the hands gently underneath the knees pointing the toes 90 degrees, or you can have that extra spicy and extend the arms out either side, palms facing one another. Keep that navel and core nice and connected. Keep the breath flowing. For those that really want to get a little spicy dish, you can point those toes upwards and make that little V with your body. But on your edge today, this is truly a great thing. So while you're here in Navasana or your boat pose, we have a tendency with a lot of times to kind of reach forward. We don't want to retract or protract. We want a nice neutral spine so our core is doing all of the work. We're not putting any added strain on the neck. Three more breaths, you're almost there. If you have to come out of it, go ahead and come back up. Remember when I said shaking reminds you how alive you are. You should really feel alive right now. Beautiful. So we're gonna move into rock and roll from here. So you can draw the knees in, give yourself a nice big hug. Forehead can come down towards the knees. And rock and roll. So just roll up and back. And see if you can bring those feet off the mat if possible. If you need to bring them all the way down for stability, that's fine, go ahead. We're just smoothing out the spine, giving those kidneys a little massage here. And two more. And on your last rock, you're gonna stay over this way. Bring the knees in, rock gently side to side. And flex the toes as much as you can. You can either grab your big toes with the peace fingers. You can place your palms on the outside of the feet. Keep the knees in close to the armpits and spread the legs out for happy baby rocking side to side here. Honor your edge. You can release a little sigh of gratitude. And bring both knees in together again. Extend and stretch those legs straight up. Flex the toes. Place both hands slightly underneath those sit bones. Shoulder blades flush to the mat. And we're just going to point the toes as we bring one leg down to the mat at a time. Extend to meet the opposite leg. So we're gonna alternate little taps to the floor. Keep the navel drawn in. Keep those legs nice and straight and tall. You're almost there. You can feel Shavasana coming on. Let's finish strong, finish our breaths together here. Building that core strength and staying connected with body, mind, and breath. 
Almost there. One more on each side, make it count. And both feet back, sky high, flex the toes, point them and draw the knees down into the chest again. Rock side to side. Extend those wings out, your arms go out to T, palms are down, fingers spread. Inhale through the center and exhale, drop both knees to the right side, gaze goes over to the left. Inhale through the center and exhale, release to the opposite side, gaze over to the right. Inhale, come back to center. Again, one more big squeeze. Now let's bring the bottom of the feet together and drop the knees down. You can flutter them like a little butterfly if you want or just keep them static. <sighs> Release. And once again, bring the knees together, drop the arms down to your side, bring the legs out stretched and let them float. Take a deep breath in, one more look around your beautiful space and gently close the eyes, maybe a little curl of the lips upwards as you move into your Shavasana, your final pose for today's session. Allowing your body to melt into the earth for rejuvenation. Bring your attention and awareness to the space between the eyes. Imagining a beautiful, bright orange light. Perhaps it's small and growing bigger with each inhalation. Or maybe it's so bright and big already. Let that glowing ball of light fill the face, each cell, as it shines outwards, this orange juicy light of creativity and energy in your day. Let it course through you. As your heart begins to slow and soften, that life force, life force felt throughout your body. As now your breath is connected to it, fluid, soft and gentle moving, glowing and healing, juicy, vibrant, energetic, orange light. Now wiggle your toes and fingers, letting that light drip right out of you into the earth, giving back to the mother and sharing with others. Taking a deep breath in, big sighs release. The muscles in the face soft and relaxed and glowing, bright, healing energy. Remember your intention in this space between the eyes. Let it rest there in this glowing orange light today. and acknowledging Mother Earth beneath you, supporting you, gently roll over like a baby being born onto one side, curled up, giving yourself a hug. And when you're ready to start anew, begin the day once again with your intentions and your breath. Rise up gently and join me in an easy seated posture or whatever is comfortable. 
can keep the eyes gently sealed as I seal our practice and the intentions with three ohms to resonate outwards. Oh. 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 If you notice our lives, families, jobs, friends, I ask that we are blessed in peace, harmony, bliss, joy, love, and light. And may we be happy. May we be safe. May we be healthy and may we be at peace. Namaste, friends. Thank you for joining today for modified poses or if you just wanted to see what chair yoga was really all about. Um, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And if you did like this or if you didn't, please let me know. And I'll see you next time. My name is Kat, and this is Core Body. Cheers. <laughs>